Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I am back with a very interesting video. Uh, in this video, we will learn a very, very amazing thing in um, Artist Lab. So we will learn to create a function using which we can create our own solid circle. Yes, you heard it right, our own solid circle. And let me show you what all we can create using that only one single function that we will create. We will make that function so dynamic that it will be able to do amazing things. So let me show you what we will be creating in this video. In this video, we will learn to create uh, a colorful or basically a solid filled circle and using one that one single shape, we will be able to create so many artifacts. Let me show you some of that. See, this is a Pokemon ball. So let me show you how does it how it is it created? See, it is creating a solid circle, black solid circle. Yeah, it is still creating. Yeah, it takes time. It takes efforts. When you are also filling in something, it takes time and efforts, right? On top of that, I am creating another full circle. That was a half circle, actually, a half white circle. And on, on top of that, again, we have a semicircle filled with red color. Then again, we have, we are actually creating a black circle. Let's see if it is a full circle or a half circle. It's a full circle this time, yes. And again, we are going to create a full white circle. Wow, this seems, you know, something amazing is coming up. And, you know, we are doing all this using only one single function, which I am going to show you now. How do we do it? Oh, wow. It's coming out to be a Pokemon ball. So this is one thing that we will be creating in this video. And let me show you a few other things that will be few other artifacts that we will be creating in this video. It's a logo. I was actually planning to design my own logo using Artist Lab. Isn't it great? Uh, this is Google Chrome logo. And this is BMW logo. So using only one single function that we are going to create today, you can explore your imagination and you can actually create too many drawings. So what we are waiting for, let's get us started without wasting any time. So here I have a circle. Uh, if I ask you to fill it manually using your crayons or your any kind of colors, what you will do? What will be the right approach to fill it? Yes, definitely from the center, you will move ahead. Okay, and then you will come back. You will move in another direction and then again you will move ahead and then you will come back. Then again you will move ahead and then you again you will come back. So this is something you will be repeating many times, many times so that the color could be filled into this circle. We will be doing the similar thing in coding as well. We will apply the same logic in coding as well. As all of you are already aware, the very first step is to log into your code.org account. So log into your code.org account and create an artist lab project. Okay, create an artist lab project as we saw that we are going to apply the same logic. So what we will do, we will go to actions, move forward by, this is the radius of my uh, circle. So say for example, move forward by 100 pixels. Okay, then move backward. We saw in our manual drawing as well, right? It is coming backward. Move forward 100 pixels, move backward 100 pixels, and then turn right. Turn right, maybe by one degrees. Okay. Okay. So fine. But I need to repeat all these steps multiple times so that my entire circle is filled. So what do we do to repeat something multiple times? Yes, we use loops. So we will be using this loop here. And now tell me how many times I should repeat all these three commands. Here, we are making a right turn by one degrees. And how many total degrees a circle has got? 
a circle, a full circle contains 360 degrees. So I will have to repeat it 360 times. Voila, it created a full circle. Okay, so this circle is black at this moment. Uh, let me give it some color. Okay, so I'm giving it, giving it a random color. Okay, um, now what next? Shall we, shall we convert this piece of code into a function? Because as we saw in our drawings, what do we want? We want to create one full circle, then on top of that another full circle, then on top of that another full circle like that, right? So what is the right approach? Should we uh, write this code multiple times or we should create a function out of it? Yes, we should create a function out of it. So uh, we will now create a function which will contain the same code. So I will go to functions. I will click on create a function. I will give it a name. My name could be a solid circle function. Okay. I can give some description. This function will create a filled circle. Okay, it's good. Uh, what parameter does your function take? So maybe initially to begin with, we can take one parameter that is the radius so that we can guide this function. We can tell this function what should be the size of my circle, okay? So I will add, an, add a parameter. I will add a parameter here, which will have name radius, okay? Add parameter. Start coding quickly the same thing that we had done earlier. So move forward. Not zero pixels or any pixels now. We have this variable it's because I want the circle to be created of the size of my radius. And my radius has been taken as an input parameter. Okay, turn right by one degrees and then repeat this all 360 degrees. Okay. So fine, this is created. So now what I will do, I will remove this entire code. And now instead, I will use the function which we created just now. Okay, I will have to pass a parameter to it. Parameter means what is the size of the circle? So that, you know, we can reuse it as many times we want. We can reuse it for making big circles, small circles, and anything. Okay, so I will use the size. What is the size of my circle? So let me say 100 pixels. Okay. Yeah. Same output. Right. Isn't it amazing? Now, uh, if I tell you that uh, currently this function is only created a full circle, I would like to create because, you know, many of my drawings may have a half circle, may have a quarter circle um, and like that. So I want to customize it. I want to further make it more flexible so that it can actually create a half circle, one quarter circle, one third circle, whatever I ask it to create. So what we will do, we will click on edit and we will add another parameter. That parameter That parameter we can name uh, maybe degree, okay? Means how many degree I want this artist to draw, okay? So let me show you some, let me show you something. Okay, using this function, uh, we actually created these many colorful drawings. Right, so if you see here, uh, we need a one quarter circle. If a full circle has got 360 degrees, a quarter circle will have 90 degrees, right? Here for this Pokemon ball, we need a half circle. This is also called a semicircle. So for semicircle, we need 180 degree star. 
only 180 degrees, not after that. Okay, so that is why, why we want to make this function even more dynamic to support creating a hemisphere, a quarter, cir a quarter circle or, you know, any kind of circular shape which we want to create. Uh, we have already taken degree as a parameter. What we will have to do? We will just have to replace this 360 by degrees. Okay, let's see how does it work now. So now let's create a full circle first. Full circle means 360 degrees. Voila, a full circle is created, right? Now I want to create a half circle, 180 degrees. This time I want to create a quarter circle, 90 degrees. Uh, maybe I want to create something like this, okay? Or maybe something like this, <laughs> right? So you can try out many things with it, okay? So now what do we want? We want to create a Pokemon ball. So let's get started and create a Pokemon ball. My Pokemon ball looks something, something like this. So which means first I will have to create a, a circle in, a full circle in black color as we have seen earlier as well. So I will choose the color black. I will create a full circle. Let me make it a little bigger, maybe 180. Yes, okay. It becomes my full circle. Now, again, if we take a look at this picture, my next is a hemisphere or sorry, the half circle, a white and this is the red one, red one. So first, yeah, definitely we will have to set the color, which color pencil we want or which color we want. So let me take a red and okay, not 360, we want a half circle, okay? And uh, we do not want 180 degrees of radius, we want a little less so that, uh, you know, this outlining or the boundary could be uh, made visible. So instead of 180, maybe, maybe let me try with 160. Yes, 160 looks good. But here it is creating a red half circle downwards. Downwards, we want a white. So simple, I will just change it to white. Okay, this is white now. Uh, next, I want to create red one. So again, I will choose the red color here. Yes, it is done. It is already done. Uh, next, again, is a small black circle. Before that, I will have to set the color. I will have to take the uh, color crayon, which I want, right? So black here. And I will also have to uh, reduce the radius. Maybe the radius would be 50. Okay. And it is a full circle this time. So 360. I'm just seeing if it is looking good or not. Let me try making it 60. Okay, 60 looks a little better. Again, what do we want? We want to create a white circle. Same stuff. You are seeing same stuff, same code we are using so many times. And uh, we, are, we, we are not writing it again and again. We just created a function, made it uh, flexible enough so that you, we can create, uh, you know, we can create, a circle of different sizes and of different degrees. And yes, we can do wonders actually. My last circle is again of black color. Yes, so here we go. My Pokemon ball is ready. Uh, I would like to dedicate my this video to Hitarth. Hitar, he is one of my students and when we were actually working on functions, he created this drawing. So Hitar, this video is for you. Thank you so much for giving me this amazing idea. And uh, friends, you can actually use this function which we created just now and create amazing drawings like this Google Chrome logo, this uh, BMW logo, and you can create something of your, uh, your imagination and your creativity also you can explore. What are you waiting for? Let's get started. Show me your imagination. You can send me your drawings and comments and I will be happy to see what you guys have created. See you soon in next video. Bye-bye.